everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. So I was gonna go through and thin some of my seedlings down that are in my bio dough because we had a fantastic germination rate. This is like the first time ever that literally like every single seed that I put in here, it seems to have sprouted. I'm amazed and I'm super happy. So I thought that I would just shoot a quick video of me doing that and also just talking about my first impressions and how everything's going with a biodome so far. In case you missed the video of me recording whenever I planted these seeds, I did plant um, a couple different rows of Brussels sprouts and cauliflower and broccoli. I did several different varieties of each because I love to have a variety of different types in the garden just to see like which one does the best here and all that. So I tried a bunch of different types and in case you missed that video and you wanna see what varieties I'm growing, I'll link to it down below too so you can check that out too. I do have to say I am super impressed so far, especially with the quality of it. the lid itself. It, it feels super sturdy and I love the fact that these vents are on top and I can let air flow in and increase the humidity in here, decrease the humidity and it just, it's super strong. I actually went into the shop and grabbed one of our old ones that we had before this and I mean, you can't really tell in the video, but it's falling apart after one season of use. Like this one had a bunch of like cracking in the side and you can see the top is super flimsy. Those type are great for a season maybe, but like this one I can see lasting for a really long time. So I'm really excited to keep using this one over and over. So whenever I was planting this out, I put two seeds in each sponge down here. And just because I was wanting to make sure that at least one came up. But now, looks like I did not need to do that because at least two are growing in each little sponge area. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to cut just one of them off. It's really important whenever you do this that you don't pull them out because you don't want to disrupt the roots of the other plant that you're going to be keeping. So it's really important just to take a pair of scissors and just cut gently and pull them away. So I'm just gonna go through and make sure that I only have one plant coming in each sponge here. And like I said before, I'm super happy with this germination rate. I don't know if it was the seeds we were using before or these sponges or just the environment here or the biodome or what, but it's going really well. So I'm really happy with it. So all these varieties that we tried are ones that you can find within our app. So we have a bunch of different links in our, for in, in our app under types and it shows all the different varieties that Park Seed has. We wanted to try and stick to those varieties and test them out and see which ones we like the best so that way we can give you guys feedback on it and tell you which ones we've grown and which ones have done really well. We wanted to make sure we could give you feedback on those. And I do have to say, so far they're doing pretty good. I'm very pleased. Thing before, I mean, we've never really been that picky about our seed collections before, but now I see why people are because the germination rate is a lot better whenever you get quality seeds. Okay, I just finished going through and making sure that there's only one little seedling in each little sponge now. And then I'm going to go through, I'm gonna to top off this water down here just to make sure I have plenty of water for the sponges to soak up from below. In case you missed my video from yesterday, I actually made a video all about preventing mold issues on your seedlings. And by having a sub-irrigated area with your plants, it really helps to prevent that. And I'll link to that video down below too, just in case you missed it, to hear more ideas and tips and tricks about how you can prevent that from happening. Okay, I'm all done now. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the lid back on and then I'm gonna put it back underneath the grow lights behind me so that way they can get plenty of sun while they are growing. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out and leave a comment in the comment section and maybe I'll make a video about it or I'll respond there either way. Um, I will get back with you. Thank you so much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.